Hi, I'm Eric Choi. I'm the Chief of Vascular and Endovascular Surgery at Temple Health. I want to be able to um, have you understand uh, what it's like to be here um, and get a sense of um, who the people are. So I just want to welcome you and um, tell you that um, it will be an, uh, an honor to have you uh, come and visit us, talk to you about the, uh, what you find on the video, and also um, have any exchange that uh, will be permitted. So thank you. This is our uh, conference room that we're going to enter now. We have our Tuesday conference uh, between 7 and 9. Let's see. Get the screen down. We'll start with a uh, one hour didactic, uh, 7 to 8. We talk about a set curriculum, uh, everything from aneurysms all the way down to how to fix a clotted AV graft. And um, in the second hour, we have a limb salvage conference with podiatry. We're going to be talking about our inpatients and outpatients. Following that, it's the angio conference where we talk about um, all the patients, again, not having to do with limb salvage, um, inpatients and outpatients. And you see we stop uh, our conference at 9 o'clock. Um, that's when our OR will start. So you are free of any OR duties until we're done with the conference. Frank, yeah, alternating days we have a journal club, we have M&Ms, we have a research meeting, um, again all within the framework of 7 to 9 on Tuesday mornings. This is a um, pretty uh, recently renovated clinic area where we actually have our own area. Um, it's on the left side of the clinic. We have um, six rooms available to us that we can see our patients. We're gonna go across the, uh, the hall where we have, as I said, all the uh, pre-op testing. This is our, as uh, Dr. Schmier said, our typical um, vascular lab. Nicole is going to say hi to you. Hi. <laughs> We're filming for all the new applicants. It's okay. be, you will be involved in a lot of the uh, evaluation. Uh, that's part of your curriculum, so you get to learn how to use the vascular lab. So this is the, um, the seventh floor, our um, Temple Heart and Vascular Pavilion, where we have all of our patients. We're gonna come through now. So this is seven east, seven west. Seven east is where we have our vascular patients. This is our um, conference room, which is the command center for vascular. All this area is basically where we are able to um, manage all of our patients. Across where 7 West, that's more cardiology and cardiovascular. So just uh, everybody just say hi. And, uh, hi. hi. We'll talk to you later. All right, thanks everyone. We'll see you. Okay. Thank you. All right, so we're going to go into uh, our part of the uh, operating room suite. This is one of two um, hybrid rooms we have. So we're at the uh, hybrid room. Uh, looks like it's uh, not being used between two cases. All right, so just come on in. Um, we have the anesthesia machine there, ceiling mounted C-arm. Um, all the uh, stents and grass and everything you can find on the walls. Um, pretty standard uh, hybrid room. Uh, utilize this for all the complex aortic, also uh, endovascular. The surgical ICU, this is where most of our patients come uh, uh, right after the operation, for, after a major operation. All right. And then they, of course, will go down to the seventh floor postoperatively. I want to also uh, get a chance to introduce uh, what the rotation will be like. We take one fellow a year, which of course is a two-year fellowship. Um, we have two um, main rotations, one at Temple, Maine, uh, which is in North Philadelphia, and uh, Jeans Hospital slash uh, Holy Redeemer Hospital slash um, Fox Chase. Um, that's all in the northeast area, about five miles away from the main campus. For the first year, um, when you are a fellow, you'll be spending about nine months out of the year um, over at the secondary campus where you'll be exposed to uh, community care, 
um, cancer care, um, a lot of bread and butter. And then you're three months out of your four, uh, first year, you'll be over at Temple. In that corresponding time, uh, the second year fellow will be at Temple um, University Hospital nine out of 12 months, and out of three months, you'll be over, over on the secondary campus. So um, that sort of an exchange allows uh, the separation of fellows and, um, and no real conflicts, if you can imagine that. Um, and so I think that sort of a separation is key to having that independent learning. We don't separate things based on whether um, you're an endovascular fellow or you're an operative fellow, uh, open operations, uh, but rather just to have that complete exposure uh, on your own. Um, so um, hope to uh, uh, give you more insight into the uh, people and the areas that you'll be working at um, with subsequent uh,